They deserved it. It was a hard-fought series. Certainly ended with a difficult game. Uh, so we'll get uh, the light bulbs turned back on here today. Light bulbs turned back on today, and then we'll back at her here as the week uh, it, ramps up. Was it an easy decision for you to give him a couple of days off, just because of how hard? Yeah, yeah. And I, I think yeah. Even if even with no overtime, we probably would have done that. It's a long week leading up to the next series, so um, when you have some an opportunity to take the time all, away at this time of year, I think it's important. Is it almost too much time off though, considering a, a week off? Um, same for both teams. Though. We'll see. Yeah, it is the same for both teams. We both end on the same day. So we'll, we'll see how, how it works out. Uh, I think when it comes from a preparation standpoint, uh, you like having time. You want to be prepared. You want to get everything in, uh, in order. So from a coaching perspective, time is nice. And I think the players themselves too, especially you know, when, when the mental part of playing the, that long game. Um, they'll be grateful that they have the time. So, like I said, we'll, we got them back going today. We'll, we'll ramp it up as the week goes on. Do you encourage the guys to kind of not think about hockey, to take that time to just sort of reset themselves? I think that's really important, especially this time of year. You know, you've got, uh, you're in the playoff grind. And, you know, it, it was a slow-moving series, that Albany series, and it's obviously a best-of-five series uh, as well. But, uh, you know, you know that when the games come, they come fast and, and they're difficult and they're, they're taxing on the body. Uh, so it's, it's that time of year. The weather's starting to get a little bit nicer um, and it's been a long season. So when you have time to step back a little bit, I think it's important because you come back refreshed and uh, you have all that more energy to get to the grind that is the games. The longer your team goes, the more eyes are on them so to speak. How do you think they've reacted all through the season and could it be any different right now? Well, I don't think it should be any different. Uh, I think the guys have responded well to all different situations through the season. I think, though, that it's important that they recognize that the longer you play, the more uh, the hockey world focuses on what you're doing. And we've got a lot of guys here that are trying to advance their career, be it uh, get a new contract or be it get an opportunity in the NHL. So the less teams that are playing in hockey, the, the more, more things uh, get focused on them, and especially in this city. So uh, I think that their guys are in, in a good place, and there's a lot of good reasons for these guys to continue to push and grind and, um, and battle and meet each challenge as it comes. Opening on the road a good thing? Uh, when you look back to the experience of Albany and in the event that you're able to get a split down in a tough, tough building? Uh, we feel pretty good, uh, you know, about our ability to play on the road, and that certainly is important if you're going to have success, success in the playoffs. Um, you know, if you have a chance, uh, the choice, you're, you're going to want to start at home every opportunity you get. But uh, we're not, and so we'll make the best of this situation. And you know, we've our most recent time we were out in Syracuse, we played a real key two games there, back-to-back -back days uh, late in the season, and, and played well. Um, that said, there would be a different team on the ice this time around with them. And uh, things are a little more urgent this time of year with the playoffs and everything. So we know what we're in for here. That's a good hockey team with a lot of depth. They're motivated and they're built to win this year. They feel like they're capable of doing that. So we'll be prepared. We'll get out there. We'll be up for the challenge. And you know, we feel good about our game. And that's what we'll focus on most importantly. We look back on that game we played the other day uh, here to finish the series. And we played some great hockey there. So we'll be looking to duplicate that as much as we can here uh, you know, with the new challenge. How did Cappy look today and how worried were you when he got hurt in the last game? Uh, I didn't have much time to really think about Cappy during that during that game. Obviously when you lose him, you know, you don't want to lose anyone, but Cappy's a difference maker for us and you know, we didn't want to lose him from the game, but I think it was more precautionary than anything, doing what's right for Cappy as we should. Um, and uh, we're relieved to, to hear that uh, you know he got cleared on everything and he was feeling good and skated today. I talked to him after, said he feels like himself. So all appears to be real positive there. Rickle was saying he feels like maybe he's playing some of his best hockey right now. Do you agree that he's sort of gotten to a next level or another level? I think I think there's there's times through uh, through each game where uh, Reich uh, excuse me shows what he's capable of doing and. He's a big, strong guy. Gets it on the floor check. Um, when he's working and skating, he's really uh, can be a, a difference maker. Um, 
and there's times when he gets away from that. So just finding a level of consistency is what we're striving for with Rikes. But through the um, through this season, I think he's come a long ways. Uh, really trying to find himself when he came here to a new organization, and um, you know, I don't think he was overly happy with how things finished up there for him uh, uh, in the Columbus organization, and wanted to, to come here and find himself and find his.